Bresenham circle drawing algorithm in computer graphics. In the previous video, I had explained about the midpoint uh, circle drawing algorithm. So now let's see the Bresenham circle drawing algorithm. In this video, the topics I'm going to cover here is the introduction part of the circle drawing algorithm and what exactly the Bresenham circle drawing algorithm is and what are the advantages or disadvantages of uh, using these algorithm and I'll explain an example. Okay, so at the end of this video, you'll get a complete clarity on how, what is this algorithm, how you're going to generate a points on the 2D plane so that you can draw the arc on the screen by using the Bresenham circle drawing algorithm. Okay. We all know that circle is defined by its center and radius, right or wrong? So you required a center as well as the radius. Whenever a center and radius, these are the initial points. You call these are the initial points. Initial points on the screen. So only with the help of the uh, this, the circle is going to be drawn. So circle is defined by its center and radius. It is not easy to display an arc on the computer screen, right or wrong? To generate a line segment, you can easily generate, but drawing an arc on the screen is very difficult. It's not easy. Why? Because because the screen, the whatever the screen is arranged in the form of matrix, rows and columns, rows and columns. So, because the screen is made up of pixels which are organized in the form of matrix. So, for drawing a circle on the screen, we need to consider the nearest pixel from a printed pixel. So, just find out the nearest pixel and try to draw the arc on the screen. The main property of circle is its symmetry. We have to find points of circle only for one octant and other octants can be derived easily. So, how the other octants are going to be derived easily, I will explain now. Let's consider a circle and divide it into 8 octants. If you see the circle here, they are divided into 8 octants. So this is octant 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 octants. So each octant is of 45 degrees. 45 degrees. Okay. So 45 degrees each octant. On a 2D plane, we are going to calculate the pixel location for the octant x is equal to 0 and x is equal to y. So, I am going to generate a only for this, this quadrant. You call it as a quadrant 1. Okay. And this is the quadrant 2. And this is a quadrant 3. Four quadrants are there. So, each quadrant is having two octants. That means quadrant is 90 degrees. And the octants is 45 degrees. 2 into 45 degrees. 2 octants. Okay. So now let's have a look on what exactly the Bresenham's line drawing, a circle drawing algorithm is. It is used for the scan conversion. It, uh, this Bresenham circle drawing algorithm generates the points of one octant. And the points of other octants are generated using 8 symmetry property using 8 symmetry property. I will show you in the example what is this 8 symmetry property is. This algorithm performs the calculation faster when compared to the other algorithm. So mostly we will prefer this algorithm. It selects the closest pixel position to complete the arc. So let's see the algorithm. So before seeing the advantages and disadvantages, let's have a look on this algorithm. Let the starting coordinates are x and y1. What I said? You have to start the circle. The circle is going to be generated only be, with the help of the center as well as the radius. So let's take x1 is equal to 0 and y1 is equal to radius. So that is the starting points. Calculate the initial decision parameter d, d0 or p, k, p, k, uh, p0 whatever you can take 3 minus 2 r. Okay. Let the initial coordinates are x, k, y, k and the next coordinates are x, k plus 1, y, k plus 1. Now calculate the next point of the first octant based on the decision parameter. Only with the based on the decision parameter, we are going to generate the, find out the next octants. And the conditions are, suppose if dk is less than 0, that is the negative value. If the value is the dk value is the negative value, then you have to perform xk plus 1 is equal to try to increment the previous value plus 1. Okay. Increment that value. And yk plus 1 is the previous value only. Y coordinate of previous value. And dk plus 1 is equal to take the dk value and for xk plus 1, whatever the value you will get, you have to substitute here and plus 6. 
So first try to calculate xk plus 1 value and then yk plus 1 value. Then you will go for the decision parameter. dk is greater than or equal to 0. That means you will get a positive value. Positive means so perform uh, increment the previous value is xk and yk plus 1 means uh, decrement the previous y value and dk plus 1 is equal to dk plus 4 into x4 uh, this xk plus 1 minus yk plus 1 plus 10. <coughs> if the center coordinates are x1 y1 is not at the origin suppose the points are not at the origin then what you are going to do you have to x coordinate whatever the center coordinates are given suppose 3 comma 4 they are given 3 plus x1 that is starting coordinates are 0 comma r right 3 plus 0 and 4 plus r these are the coordinates okay the first coordinate the current values of the x and y coordinates we have to repeat this step 4 and 5 till we will get x is greater than or equal to 5 you have to perform this so before going to the example let's have a look on what advantages and disadvantages of using the Bresenham circle drawing algorithm Bresenham circle drawing algorithm is a simple and less time consuming algorithm it can easily implemented because it uses an integer arithmetic which makes the implementation less complex and accuracy is high as compared to the other circle drawing algorithm is okay then what about the disadvantages the disadvantage of using the Bresenham circle drawing algorithm is it is not suitable for complex and high graphic images if you want to work on the high graphic images better don't use this Bresenham circle drawing algorithm and there is a problem of accuracy while generating the points so now let's have a look on the example draw a circle using the Bresenham circle algorithm with a center point so see here this time I have taken a center point as 5 comma 8 in the previous video for midpoint circle drawing algorithm I have taken the center point as origin there I have taken 0 comma 0 center point as origin so now here I have taken the center point as 5 comma 8 and radius is 9 so now the center coordinates are 5 comma 8 and radius is 9 what is the starting coordinates generally the starting coordinates are x xk is equal to 0 and yk is equal to r so 0 comma 9 are the starting coordinates so now the decision parameter the initial decision parameter is minus 15 you got how 3 minus 2 r so 3 minus what is r given r is 9 okay so 3 minus 9 twos are 18 so you will get minus 15 as a decision parameter now check so pk is less than 0 or greater than 0 obviously pk is less than 0 only because this is negative value so whenever it is a negative value what you have to do you have to perform first perform calculate the xn value by taking the xk starting coordinates increment it and yn is the yk coordinate that is the radius you will get now calculate the pk plus 1 so the previous the minus 15 whatever you get 4 into xk this value okay whatever the this value is there so that you have to substitute plus 1 plus 6 okay xk plus 1 xk plus 1 means this value whatever we are going to generate so see here so if initial parameter pk is less than 0 now xk plus 1 is 0 plus 1 is 1 you got and yk plus 1 is the radius only 9 now generate the pk plus 1 the pk is the negative value minus 15 plus 4 what is xk plus 1 just now we calculated 1 substitute 1 here and plus 6 so now the pk value pk plus 1 is minus 5 you got you have to continue this process until we get x is greater than or equal to 5 so see here I had drawn the all the coordinates I will explain here so 0 comma 9 is a starting coordinate but it is the starting point the center is started at which point 5 comma 8 right 5 comma 8 so the initially xn is equal to x, xn is equal to 0 and yn is equal to r these are starting coordinates so what is the radius radius is 5 so that means 0 comma 9 you got okay now the center coordinates are 5 comma 8 that is xn is equal to 0 plus 5 and yn is equal to r plus r means 9 9 plus 8 that means you will get xn as 5 and yn as 17 so see here 5 comma 17 okay the xn yn plotted is 5 comma 17 now 
Now first calculate the x and y and value. So first what is the decision parameter you got? You got minus 15 is the decision parameter. Minus 15. So whenever minus 15 is there what you have to do? It's a negative value. Negative value means first calculate x plus 1 is the previous value plus 1 and yk plus 1 is the previous value. Then calculate the decision parameter. dk plus 1 is equal to dk plus 4 xk plus 1 and plus 6. Okay. So now first calculate xk plus xk is 0. 0 plus 1, 1. Okay. And yk plus 1 is yk only. So that is 9 only you will get. Now calculate the dk plus 1. What is the dk value? dk value or pk. Whatever you can take. You can take dk or pk. Whatever it may be. Okay. So pk value is what? Minus 15 plus 4 into xk plus 1 is what? 1. 1 plus 6. So 4 plus 6 10. 10 minus 15. Sorry. Minus 15 plus 10 you will get minus 5. Okay. So here also you just increment. xk plus 1 is xk plus 1, 5 plus 1, 6 and this is the same. Now, now the pk value is minus 15, minus 5. Is it less than 0 or greater than 0? Obviously, it is less than 0. So, perform the same operation. So, 5, 1 is incremented to 2 and this is as it is. Okay. Now, here also 6 is incremented to 7 and this is as it is. So, now calculate the decision parameter. dk is equal plus 1 is equal to that is pk plus 1 is equal to what is the dk value minus 5 minus 5 plus 4 into xk plus 1 value is 2 2 plus 6 that is minus 5 plus 4 2 is 8 plus 6 8 plus 6 is a 14 14 minus 5 is the 9 so this time the decision parameter is positive so, whenever P, uh, pk plus 1 is greater than pk is greater than 0, then what you have to be performed? What you have to perform according to the algorithm? You have to perform if xk plus 1 is equal to xk plus 1 only and yk plus 1 is equal to yk minus 1, then the decision parameter dk plus 1 is equal to dk plus 4 into the xk plus 1 whatever the value that is generated minus yk plus 1 plus 10. Okay this is what you have to calculate. So what is xk plus 1 value? xk plus 1 means you have to increment it. And yk means 9 minus 5 because yk minus 1. 9 minus 1 is 8. So here is equal to 7 plus 1 8 and 17 minus 1 16. Now calculate the dk value dk plus 1. So, dk previous dk is 9. 9 plus 4 into what is the value? 3. 3 minus 8 plus 10. So, 9 plus 3 minus 8 means minus 5. Minus 5. Minus 5 into 4. Okay. 5 fours are 20 plus 10. Okay. Minus 20 plus 10 minus 10. 9 minus 10 minus 1. Okay. What do you got? You got minus 1. So, that is now the decision parameter is less than 0. Again, you need to be performed this operation. This operation you need to be performed. So, like this, if you perform this until x is greater than or equal to 0. So, here you got x is greater than or equal to, sorry, not 0, greater than or equal to y. So, x is equal to y you got. So, stop doing the work. And these are all the points that are plotted 5 comma 17 6 comma these are the points you have to be considered because the point is started at 5 comma 8 not at 0 comma 0 okay see here 5 comma 16 6 comma 17 so these are all the first octant first octant so how you are going to generate the second octant the second octant is the reverse reflection mirror image reflection or mirror image Okay, so these are the points of the first octant. The second octant can be occurred using the mirror effect by swapping x and y coordinates. So here the x and y coordinates are swapped. See here, this 11 comma 14 is swapped to 14 comma 11. And 10 comma 15 is swapped to 15 comma 10. And 9 comma 16 is swapped to 16 comma 9. So these are all swapped. 8 comma 16, 16 comma 8. Okay. So, all the values are swapped. 
so this is octant 1 and octant 2 so completely you call it as a first quadrant the first quadrant okay so now point this uh, plot this point on the 2d plane so here only 16 is there let's take this is a 17 so complete one quadrant i have to draw because i had taken octant 1 and octant 2 so let's try to draw this so first is 5 comma 17 5 comma 17 let me erase this okay so 5 comma 17 so this is 5 and this is 17 somewhere here let's take somewhere here okay 5 comma 17 next 6 comma 17 Okay, next uh, 7 comma 17, next uh, 8 comma 16, next 9 comma 16, 10 comma 15, so this is 10, 10 comma 15 and 11 comma 14, 11, 14 and uh, 11, 14, so now 14 comma 11. So, this is 14, 14 comma 11. Okay. 14 comma 11. And 15 comma 10. 15 comma 10. This is 15 and this is 10. Okay. 15 comma 10. 16 comma 9. 17 comma 7. Somewhere here. And 17 comma 6. Okay, 17 comma 5. So, like this. So, these are the octants, values of the two octants. So, if you clearly observe, this is, this is completely, let's take this is one octant, right? Okay, this is one octant. So, points are get from one, this octant and this octant. Okay, so try to draw the, take the nearest points and draw the arc. Okay, so this is the way you have to draw. So this is completely one octant. So one quadrant. So this is one octant and this is two octant. So this is the way. So in the same way you have to generate the points for this side also and the, you are going to draw the circle. You will get the circle like this. Okay. So, this is a way you are going to generate an arc on the screen by using this Bresenham circle drawing algorithm. I hope you get your solution. Thank you. So, still if you are facing any doubts, please let me know students. Thank you.